Health is one of those things we take for granted until we don't have it. As we learn more about our own genetic material, about the power of our own cells and blood and DNA makeup, all those exciting and interesting things, we find more and more ways to heal ourselves with what we already have. We take blood for granted. It is considered essential medicine, but we don't think of it as medicine, it's just there. We are part of Teromo Group. It's a 100-year-old company that was founded around the invention of the thermometer. That's where Terumo comes. And our collective mission is to contribute to society through healthcare. Our technology is behind the scenes in so many places. If you know someone who's ever had a blood transfusion, that equipment that was used to collect that blood likely comes from our organization. Cell and gene therapies are cells that are being used for therapies. So instead of an inorganic compound or a drug, the cells are the drugs that are mediating cures. Cell therapies have the potential to go to the root cause and actually cure the diseases. And that's what makes them powerful. So I would say not only are they the future, but they're going to revolutionize the way we practice medicine. Emily was born May 2nd, 2005, perfectly healthy. Um, and she stayed that way up until her fifth birthday. On that Thursday, she was healthy, and by Friday afternoon, um, she had severe pain in her legs, and we were in the uh, Penn State Hershey Children's Hospital with her diagnosed with leukemia, and she was on a morphine pump. Um, so she got standard treatment for the first 16 months. And, um, and they told us, you know, when, when kids get into remission with standard chemotherapy, that it works, you know, always works once they get in remission. So we were completely devastated then, 16 months into treatment. They said, unfortunately, she's relapsed, and now she went from a 90% chance of survival to less than 30. Emily Whitehead was the first pediatric CAR-T patient. So CAR-T cells are your own T cells that are being taught to go find cancer and to kill it. Um, so we actually found a lot of hope in that and we knew standard treatment wasn't going to fix her at that point. So we entered her into the trial knowing that there was a lot of unanswered questions but it gave us hope. And they extracted her um, T cells. So 23 days after her first infusion of the CAR T cells, she was cancer free after 22 months of failed standard treatment. Emily got her therapy 10 years ago and in May she was cancer-free for 10 years and now considered cured. So cell and gene therapies are allowing us to use the word cure in cancer in the same sentence. Our company knows that with the complexity of innovation and the healthcare challenges in the world, we have to work with other people. So our relationship with Terumo Blood and Cell Technologies has extended over the last 20 years. Today, we're working together to advance cell and gene therapy manufacturing solutions. This offers us a path to continue our collaboration and get a wider range of solutions to patients more quickly, more cost-effectively. In the past, manufacturing was very laborious because it was very manual. With automation, we can bring more products faster and more efficiently because it's all at a push of a button. We have been very intentional with the types of solutions and services that we've provided for the cell and gene therapy market and sector. We have a quantum platform, and this is a system that allows you to grow cells in an environment that keeps them very safe, so you have um, healthy, high-quality cells. And as we get more efficient at making them and making them faster, we'll be able to impact patients all over the world and that is how you revolutionize medicine and make a great impact for patients. The CAR T cell therapy saved my daughter Emily's life. From families all over the world, we'd like to say thank you. <laughs>